dear students now we are going to discuss about fiber optics actually fiber optics is an engineering field which helps us to understand how data can be transferred from one end to another end using optical fiber and light signal coming to optical fiber it is a thin material and it is a light in weight flexible and it can withstand any range of moisture or temperature and here it acts as a wave guide to transmit light between the two ends of the communication system so using the light signal and optical fiber data can be transferred from the transmitter end to the receiver end this slide shows the optical fiber and here the optical fiber consists of two important things in the most material that one is called core where the core is surrounded by cladding this diagram shows the cross sectional view of an optical fiber the innermost material that is green color is nothing but a core where the core is surrounded by cladding and both core and cladding are kept inside this protective layer coming to the advantages of optical fiber this optical fiber is light in weight it is flexible even though it is bent light can propagate through the optical fiber and data can be transferred so it is a highly flexible material and it is a non conductive material it is a non radiative material and this optical fiber can withstand any range of moisture or temperature these are the advantages of optical fiber optical fiber plays an important role in the field of communication and here the basic principle for optical fiber communication system is total internal reflection here we are able to see the light passing through the core metal of the optical fiber by means of total internal reflection so here this is the basic principle for optical fiber communication system from the previous slide we are able to understand that total internal reflection is the basic principle for optical fiber communication system to achieve this total internal reflection inside an optical fiber two conditions must be satisfied first condition the light ray should travel from denser medium to rarer medium that means the refractive index of core material must be greater than the refractive index of cladding material so we have to select the materials for making core and cladding such that the refractive index of core material should be greater than the refractive index of cladding material next condition the angle of incidence at the interface between core and cladding must be greater than critical angle so this is the second condition which must be satisfied for achieving total internal reflection in the optical fiber for transferring data from one place to another place from this slide we are going to understand what is critical angle so here in this diagram a light ray is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium here in this case the angle of incidence is less than critical angle because of this reason the incident light ray is refracted into the second medium whereas in this case the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle because of this reason the incident light ray is neither reflected nor refracted such an angle is called critical angles so critical angle is the angle for which the incident light ray will suffer neither reflection nor refraction making the angle of refraction 90 degree such an angle is called critical angle so if the incident light ray is greater than critical angle what will happen then total internal reflection will be taking place that is nothing but critical angle here we are going to discuss about classification of optical fibers optical fibers can be classified into different types based on the material used for making the optical fiber there are two types they are nothing but glass optical fiber and plastic optical fiber so based on the material used for making the optical fiber 
we are having two types what are they glass optical fiber and plastic optical fiber then based on the mode we are having two types single mode optical fiber and multi mode optical fiber then another classification based on the change in the refractive index of coronal cladding we are having two types based on the change in the refractive index of coronal cladding we have two types they are step index optical fiber and graded index optical fiber so based on the material we have two types what are they glass optical fiber and the plastic optic fiber based on the number of modes we have two types they are single mode optical fiber and multi mode optic fiber similarly based on the change in the refractive index of coronal cladding we have two types step index optic fiber and graded index optical fiber coming to glass optical fiber it is a fiber where both the core and the cladding of the optical fiber are made up of silica example first core is made up of silica and for this cladding is made up of phosphorus oxide with silica so here addition of phosphorus oxide p2o3 to silica reduces its refract index so this combination p2o3 with the sio2 can be used for making cladding and pure sio2 is used for making core so such a type of optical fiber where both core and cladding are made up of silica are called glass optical fiber next plastic optical fiber coming to this plastic optical fiber here both core and cladding are made up of high durable plastic materials such a type of optical fiber where both core and cladding are made up of plastic are called plastic optical fiber example core is made up of polymethyl methacrylate for that cladding is made up of copolymer so here both core and cladding are made up of plastic materials such a type of optical fiber where core and cladding are made up of plastic are called plastic optical fiber next classification based on the number of modes if the diameter of the core is smaller then only one mode can be allowed to propagate through that such a type of optical fiber in which only one mode can be allowed to propagate are called single mode optical fiber so in the case of single mode optic fiber diameter of the core will be very very small so that only one mode can be allowed to propagate that's why it is called single mode optical fiber next multi mode fiber so multi mode fiber is the fiber where the diameter of the core will be comparatively larger so in this case diameter of the core is larger because of this reason more than one mode is possible that's why it is called multi mode optical fiber so when compared with the single mode optical fiber diameter of the core will be larger in the case of multi mode optical fiber and because of this larger diameter of the core more than one mode is possible hence it is called multi mode optical fiber in the case of single mode optical fiber diameter of the core will be small and because of this reason only one mode can be allowed to propagate through the single mode fiber that's why it is called single mode fiber where in the case of multi mode optical fiber diameter of the core is larger because of this reason more than one mode is possible in the case of fiber hence it is called multi mode optical fiber coming to the comparison of single mode fiber with the multi mode fiber each and every type has its own advantage and disadvantage coming to single mode fiber in the case of single mode fiber diameter of the core is very very small if it is so launching the light signal into the core metal of the single mode will be very very difficult we know very well light must be made to propagate through the core metal of an optical fiber to transfer data from one place to another place for that light must be made to enter the core material this process of making the light to enter the core metal of the optical fiber is called launching since the diameter of the core is very very small 
in the case of single mode fiber launching light signal into the single mode fiber will be difficult whereas multi mode fiber has larger diameter for core since the diameter of the core in the case of multi mode is larger launching the light signal into the multi mode fiber will be easier and further since the diameter of the core is smaller in the case of single mode fiber connecting two fibers of single mode will be very very difficult and uh, further making a single mode is also very very difficult because we have to maintain the diameter which is very very small so making single mode fiber will be difficult because of this reason single mode fiber is expensive but it can be used for long distance communication that's the advantage of single mode fiber coming to the multi mode fiber since the diameter of the core is larger connecting two fibers will be easier making the light to enter the multi mode fiber is easier and connect two fibers of multi mode is easier and fabrication also easier because of this reason this one is cheaper which one is cheaper multi mode fiber is cheaper when compared to single mode and here in the case of multi mode more than one light signal will be allowed to propagate through that because of that it can be used for short distance communication that can be used for connecting computers within a building that means it can be used for making local area network so this is the comparison of single mode fiber with multi mode fiber next classification based on the change in the refract index so we know very well for total intent reflection the refract index of core material must be greater than the refract index of cladding material so the refract index of core is differing from the refract index of cladding if the difference is taking place in step by step manner that one is called step index fiber so in the case of step index optic fiber the refractness of core and cladding will be varying in step by step manner that's why it is called step index optic fiber that means the refractness of core material will be decreasing suddenly that's why it is called step index optic fiber and the step index optic fiber has two types single mode step index optic fiber and multi mode step index optic fiber in the case of single mode step index optic fiber the refract index of core and cladding will be varying in step by step manner where the diameter of the core will be smaller such a type of optical fiber with very small core diameter and the refract index is changing step by step manner is called single mode step index optical fiber so coming to single mode step index optical fiber diameter of the core will be smaller and its refract index of core and cladding will be varying in step by step manner that is called single mode step index optical fiber coming to multi mode step index optical fiber here also the refract index of core and the cladding will be varying in step by step manner but the diameter of the core will be larger and because of this reason more than one mode is possible such a type of optical fiber where the refract index of core and cladding varying in step by step manner with larger core diameter is called multi mode step index optical fiber next we are having graded index optical fiber in the case of graded index optical fiber the refract index of core will be decreasing gradually that's why it is called graded index optical fiber however the condition will be satisfied which condition the refract index of core will be greater than refract index of cladding but here the refract index of core will be decreasing gradually from its center that's why it is called graded index optical fiber in the case of graded index optical fiber the refract index of core will be different in the case of step index optical fiber the refract index of core will be same throughout the core material the refract index of core will be same in the case of step index optical fiber but in the case of graded index optical fiber the refract index of core is 
decreasing gradually from its center that's why it is called graded index optic fiber coming to the application of optic fiber optical fiber can be used for communication purpose that's the main application of optic fiber to transfer data from one place to another place by means of total internal reflection apart from that optical fiber can be used in medical field in medical field optical fiber can be used for making endoscopy device that endoscopy device is made up of optic fiber which is flexible this endoscopy method can be used to see the internal part of human being which cannot be seen by naked eye so there we are using optical fiber so optical fiber can be used in medical field for endoscopy it's a method by which we can see the internal part of human being which is made up of optical fiber further optical fiber can be used as a sensor there are two types of sensor intrinsic sensor and extrinsic sensor intrinsic sensor is otherwise called active sensor and extrinsic sensor is otherwise called passive sensor coming to the intrinsic sensor it is sensor where the physical parameter which is to be measured will have direct contact with the optical fiber for example temperature sensor so in the case of temperature sensor optical fiber used can sense the temperature directly so temperature which is to be measured will have direct contact with the optical fiber such a type of sensor in which the physical quantity which is to be measured will act directly on the sensor are called intrinsic sensor other is called active sensor so temperature sensor is an example for intrinsic sensor where the temperature which is to be measured will act directly on that sensor will act directly on the fiber so the fiber can sense the temperature directly so such a type of sensor where the physical parameter which is to be measured will act directly on the sensor is called intrinsic sensor other type of sensor is extrinsic sensor and this extrinsic sensor is otherwise called passive sensor in the case of passive sensor the physical parameter which is to be measured will not act directly on the sensor a separate sensing element will be used example displacement sensor so displacement sensor can be used to check whether the vehicle is moving towards the sensor or away from the sensor in that case the vehicle which is under movement has no contact with the sensor a separate sensing element will be used such a type of sensor in which the physical parameter which is to be measured cannot act directly on the sensor are called passive sensor other is called extrinsic sensor